What's going on? Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite rear delt exercise. Now it's only my favorite when done correctly. Perhaps you've tried this before and you haven't got it. I'm gonna teach you how to do it, how to do it properly, and how to get the most out of it. So first and foremost, you're gonna to wanna to set the cables just at about your ear level. And the reason for this is the angle you can see I'm getting is best achieved when the cables are set in this position. So just start off kind of getting next to it, finding near your ear. Now from here, you're gonna grab the opposite end, grab the little ball of the cable, right here as you can see me doing. If you're more comfortable than attachment you can, I just find they kind of flop everywhere and can hit you. Now you're gonna step out about two feet back, stepping right out, and as you can see here, what you want to avoid is coming too low. This is gonna involve your blat and is not what you want at all. Second thing you're gonna to wanna to avoid is a bend in the elbow. As you can see, this is completely wrong. So instead, I'm in line with where my shoulders are at. I'm focusing on squeezing these little muscles that you can see on the screen, going nice and controlled, and a big tip is go for a two second negative. This will help you force a good mind-muscle connection, make sure you're working the right muscles, and avoid those first two mistakes. So as you can see, I'm coming back, pulling to my rear delt, having a good squeeze, one, two, and hitting it again. So it really is that simple. Once again, we're gonna go over the three mistakes in a little more detail here, so here's Kyle. Now before we jump into the three common mistakes, make sure to click that first link in the description for a full free no strings attached, descriptive form guide helping you fix your form on any exercise in the gym. Make sure to click it, you do not want to miss out. And common mistake number one, once again, as Josh mentioned, is just getting too much lat involvement. Now this is a great exercise for the rear delts and there's so many good ones for your back. If you're trying to get your lats, this is not the exercise for you and what a lot of people do is they grab onto it and then they're holding it and then they're pulling all the way down here, right? So by having your arms nice and low like this, it's gonna be more lat involvement versus how they should be up here in line with your face. Number two common mistake is loading up the weight way too heavy and when this is done, a lot of times people, instead of having your arms nice and straight, what happens is you grab onto it, the weight's way too heavy, and you just end up doing some of these where your elbows are bent and you're literally getting no rear delts and you're only getting triceps. Once again, you know, it's cool that you're able to hit the triceps, but for this exercise, we're trying to hit the rear delts. It's a very small particular muscle group, so this has to be done very correctly. And number three common mistake, this one isn't as common as the first two, but I see a lot of people just kind of shrugging up. Relax the shoulders, okay? This is gonna allow you to have a better range of motion and just get better contractions. If you're kind of all tense up and you know your shoulders are elevated, it's gonna be tough. Just bring them down, relax it, keep the core tight, focus on posture, it's gonna be very important, and then just get a nice, big contraction, okay? So that's it, uh, thank you so much for listening. Once again, make sure to click that free form guide. Uh, basically, no strings attached, absolutely free. We just wanna make sure every single one of you can do proper gym exercise. If you don't have a personal trainer, it's literally like a personal trainer in your pocket. We appreciate you so much. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, comment down below, hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.